Hey everyone, it's Jenna and Andy from A Couple Travelers. We are back today with a video from Sandals Royal Curacao, another room tour. Yes, so we uh, did a split stay on this trip and we were just moved into our new room. It is the HSUP room category. The, let me see if I can get this in one take. Sunshi Club Level Junior Suite with Patio Tranquility Soaking Tub. But it misses like the, the best part, which is that it's a swim up. No, it's said swim Swim up. Swim up was in it. Was it? Sunshi swim up. Did you say that? Yeah, I think so. Sunshi swim up club level junior suite with patio tranquility soaking tub. There we go. Okay, I think I got it that <laughs> time if I didn't get it before. <laughs> I did want to mention I am a travel agent. I do work with Sandals quite a bit. If you're interested in coming to Sandals Royal Curacao or any of the other Sandals or Beaches properties, um, my email address is listed in the video description below. Please feel free to reach out with questions, with quotes. It doesn't cost you anything to work with an agent. So let's get to the room tour. <music> As we get inside, you will see if you watched our other room tour from Sandals Royal Curacao where we stayed in the Amante Club level Ocean View room, you'll notice there are a lot of similarities to the look and layout of the room. So when you first walk in, we have the same doors of the closet with full length mirrors, great for getting ready. Inside you have extra pillows, extra blankets, the sandals, robes, laundry bag, a safe, an iron, an ironing board, and some hangers for your clothes, and plenty of storage options. Directly next to the door, you have your beverage station. As we said in the ridiculously long room name, this is a club level room, meaning you have a full bar in your room, which is great. I will put a link to a video below if you want to learn a little bit more about the difference in the three room categories at Sandals, luxury, club, and butler level rooms. It's actually included in our Barbados room tour video, mm -hmm. so we will link that down below. Here we have liquor, we have wine, we have champagne, we have tonic water, ginger ale, sodas, waters, everything you would need to enjoy your room, make some cocktails, etc. They have some local beers. And if you don't have something here that you want, just ask. Yes, like for example, we were given Pinot Grigio and, and Merlot. You could call and say, you know, I'd please bring a bottle of Chardonnay or, right. or I would like, what are we missing? I would like tequila. If you are in a luxury level room, you will just have the water the soda, the juice, and beer and wine. And then with butler level, you can actually in advance fill out a form with all of your preferences. So right across from your um, closet and beverage station, you have the bathroom. So right on your right, when you walk in, you have the toilet area and it does close so someone can be in there while someone else is showering and getting ready, which is always nice. You'll notice this bathroom is pretty much identical to the one in the other room that we stayed at. Big sink, lots of counter space. They have a makeup mirror for when you get ready. It's a magnifying mirror and it does have a light. It's great doing makeup to go out. And they also have some amenities from the Red Lane Spa, which is the spa on Sandals property. They give you a shampoo, conditioner, a luxe body cleanser, an age-defying probiotic lotion, you have hand soap, a shower cap, you know, little other little amenities like with Q-tips and a nail file and a sewing kit as well. And you will notice in this room, there are very few US outlets. It's mainly European, so you're gonna wanna bring adapters. We found um, some on Amazon that it was a European to US, but it also had plugs and USB slots. Yes, but one so thing- that was helpful. Yeah, and, and that's throughout the entire resort too. Yes. There's a lot of European plugs. Yeah. One thing to keep in mind is that some of them will come with USB adapters on the side, but they, these are very close together. So you might just need to consider that. Like if you're plugging something in a left outlet, but it has a right USB, you're not gonna be able to plug that in if it has, if you have another adapter in the right slot, if that makes sense. So that's very different about Sandals Royal Curacao is that 
they have European outlets. Yeah. The other sandals, you don't really need to worry about any needing converters. And then here is the shower. The one difference between the room we were in before and this one is that we have a rainfall, a rain, why do I like never know like it's <laughs> what it's called, but a, a rainfall shower. Right. Yeah, you have that and you have a handheld as well. So this is a little bit of an upgraded shower in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So that's great. And this is more, this was a wall in the other, yeah. in the other room. There so. was a, there was a picture that you could slide out of the way. No, I tried to move it. It's, oh, it's really? still. Oh, yeah, interesting. It's the, the thing in the bike from oh, the other yeah. room. Okay. But yeah, cause I tried to move it. Cause I was like, oh, I wonder if you can see into the shower and it wasn't movable. And Sandals is really working hard on their conservation efforts. So they leave a note and they explain to us when they brought us to the room that um, if you are okay reusing your towels, hang them up. If not, put them on the floor and housekeeping will take care of that. Since we are in a club level room, we have normal housekeeping in the morning and in the evening we have a turn down service. So, you know, you come back from the pool, you kind of get your room messy again, getting ready for dinner. You create more towels. They take care of that while you're away and out at dinner. So you kind of get your room, you know, fixed up twice a day and then Obviously this is the main part of the room. You can see into the shower here, big king size bed, which if you don't know about Sandals, Sandals is a couples only resort. So every single room has a king bed in it. This looks very similar to the Amante room that we were in yesterday. The wallpaper, although very similar, is, is different. This is not a canopy bed, whereas our other one had the had the canopy bed. Very pretty. And then we didn't notice this in our other room, but it was there, but you have reading lights on both sides, which is nice. It might look like there are not USB plugs next to the bed. However, I was looking and saw down here, next to the European outlet, there is a little USB outlet. So uh, if you are charging your phone or something else in bed, I would recommend bringing at least a six foot USB cord just mm -hmm. so you can reach or just bring one of those European adapters with a USB port in it and you'll be able to charge up. Um, across from the bed, obviously, you have your entertainment station. You have two very large drawers and some storage space underneath. Big TV. You actually, we were looking, we couldn't find a remote. You can control the TV with your phone. There was a little like QR code that was on the TV when we walked in. The last room did, we saw the QR code option, but we did have a, a remote. I'm sure they just like, this room I think were the first people staying in it. Yeah. This room category was not ready. We actually were told we were gonna be in a different swim up, but then we did get this room, which is the original one that we booked. So I think they like just got it ready in time. So they probably like haven't brought the remote <laughs> yeah. to the room yet, but. Yeah, thank you um, very much to O'Shane. Yes, he was wonderful. He knew that we were so looking forward <laughs> to this room and the staff worked really hard to try to get it ready on time. Yeah, so um, huge shout out to him for yeah, pushing this through. That, that was very nice. Next to that, you have more storage spots, more plugs, you have your coffee and tea station. And this is a stool that you can pull out as well if you wanna sit and make this kind of like a desk area. But I like it. It's pretty. And I like this room as curtains as well because yeah. these these close. So like at the end of the day, you... Oh, boy. Oh, are these different? <laughs> <laughs> okay. In our last room, <laughs> in our last room, they closed. And then what you did is you push them together, you lift them up, and you lock them. And it, it was very dark in our room. And last but not least, we have the actual balcony and swim out area over here. We have the baskets, which I loved in the last room. And we have a tranquility soaking tub for two. Um, there is uh, privacy curtains here, so you can close it if you wanna like actually bathe. And then you have table and chairs, so you can order room service in the morning, you can eat breakfast in bed, you can eat breakfast here in your loungers. And there's also a rack to dry, you know, your wet bathing suit and wet clothes from the day. Then in the actual pool, you have two lounge chairs, which are actually like in the water and two floaties, which we will be using these. Yep. <laughs> these are very coveted at the main pool area. How's the water? Very nice. So it looks like it's four feet deep over here. And so we are in the very first one and there seems to be, there are five of these um, Sunchi swim out. I'm not gonna say the whole name, the HSUP rooms, there's five of them. And it actually leads out front 
to the B SUP, which are the beachfront version of this room. So it's a little more expensive because you're looking out at the beach. But the whole pool is connected. The whole pool is connected. So we'll show you what it looks like. So it's just like a, like almost like an L-shaped pool. was the Sunshi swim up room. It's beautiful. I'm yeah. really excited to finally, like we've always wanted to do a swim up room. So I'm glad we're gonna get to do it on this trip. But that is it for today's video, everyone. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media at A Couple Travelers. And until next time, keep traveling.